Welcome to Math to Find. I'm Mrs. C, and today I'm showing you how to subtract unlike fractions. This video is a quick review of how to subtract fractions when they have different denominators. Whatever age you are or what grade in school you might be in, sometimes we all need a refresher when it comes to subtracting these types of fractions. Before I begin subtracting, I always need to look at the denominators of the fractions. As you can see, they are different. The first fraction has a 5, and the second fraction has a 4. So I will need to find a common denominator. By looking at these two denominators, I can see that 20 is a multiple of both 5 and 4, so 20 will be my common denominator. But if you don't readily see that, you can always make a list of each denominator's multiples until you can see what they both share. So I like to list out at least four or five multiples for each denominator. I like to start with the largest of the two denominators, which is five. Next, I list out a few multiples of five. So five times one is five, five times two is 10, five times three is 15, and five times four is 20. Then I list out a few multiples of four. Four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times 5 is 20. And now I can see that they both share a multiple of 20. So again, I can see that 20 will be my common denominator. My next step is to rename each fraction with my common denominator of 20. Looking at my first fraction of 3 fifths, I will need to multiply that denominator of 5 by 4 to get the common denominator of 20. I will also need to multiply the numerator of 3 by 4 because remember, whatever you do to the denominator, you must do the exact same thing to the numerator. So I will rename 3 fifths to its equivalent fraction of 12 twentieths. Now let's take a look at the second fraction of 1 fourth. I will need to multiply that denominator of 4 by 5 to again get our common denominator of 20. And I will multiply the, multiply the numerator by 5 as well. So 1 fourth will be renamed to its equivalent of 5 twentieths. If you're liking this video so far, please do give it the thumbs up, click the subscribe button along with that notification bell. Doing these two things really does make a difference for the channel. So thank you so much. All right, now that our fractions have the same denominator of 20, we can subtract. To do this, we just subtract the numerators and keep the denominator of 20 the same. So 12 minus 5 is 7, and again, we'll keep the denominator of 20, so our answer or the difference is 7 twentieths. Our last step is to simplify. If our fraction is improper, or if the numerator and denominator share a common factor other than 1, then we can simplify it. If you're not sure of what improper fractions are and how to simplify them, be sure to check out this video about improper fractions. It will explain what they are and show you how to simplify them. In this case, however, 7 twentieths is not an improper fraction, and 7 and 20 do not share any common factors other than 1, so our fraction of 7 twentieths is already simplified. Don't forget, you can watch more of my math videos at Math Defined, and check out this video if you would like a quick review on subtracting mixed numbers. I hope this video helped you with your fractions, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.